so real quick, we'll go through these errors fairly quickly. This is just a 1999 penny that has a double strike with one strike being 30% off center. Now you can clearly find something like this in your pocket change without a USB coin microscope. It's very noticeable and uh, definitely just always be checking your change for simple stuff like this. Now this penny here sold for over $1,100. Next up is an interesting coin. Now this has been broad struck and the obverse has been struck through. So when the coin was being produced, the coin has been struck through some type of object and that is the imprint there that you get there on the front of the coin, the obverse of the coin. Now this coin here didn't sell for big money, but it still sold for over $90. Next up with another 1999 penny, that has been double struck. You see that taking place most noticeably at the top of the coin. You can see the phrasing God we trust is doubled twice there. And this penny here sold for over $95. Next up is another double struck penny that has a flip over and collar. Now you can see that there most noticeably at the bottom of the coin through Lincoln's chest going diagonally all the way through Lincoln's hair. And then you see the word one cent there all the way on the side going through that penny. So you got the back, the reverse design on the front of the penny there from this type of error. Now this penny here sold for over $285. Would love to find something like this in my pocket change. I love these types of errors. Now next up is the famous 1999 penny. I've covered this in one of my other videos. This penny sold for over $138,000 and that is because it was muled with a dime. So you got the penny on the front and then a dime reverse there on the back. So you're supposed to have the Lincoln Memorial design there and it's actually muled with a dime reverse which will make it extremely, extremely rare and extremely, extremely valuable. So like I said, $138,000 for that penny. Now, another thing you wanna look for on the 1999 penny, which we will be looking for here in one second underneath the microscope, is the 1999 wide AM. You see how the A and the M are not touching? That's exactly what you wanna look for on the 1999 Lincoln Penny. Now here's an example of one that sold on eBay and it sold for a hundred dollars So not too bad hundred bucks. It's not graded This person just found this in pocket change and sold it for a hundred bucks on eBay Can't beat that what a profit man a penny into a hundred dollars Here's an example of a close AM and a wide AM You can see that the close AM is touching the A and the M are touching and then the wide AM are separated. So on this penny, we wanna look for the wide AM. But on the 1999S, which is the proof penny, you wanna look for the close AM. So on the regular 1999 business strike, you wanna look for the wide AM. And then on the 1999S proof penny, you wanna look for the close AM. So keep that in mind as well. We're not gonna be looking at proof pennies today. We're just gonna be looking at regular business strike pennies. Up here we got a stock image here showing you guys how many they actually produced of the 1989D Denver minted Lincoln penny. Now you can see that they produced over five billion of those coins. This penny in this image here is just a proof penny. It's not the one that we're actually talking about in this video. We're gonna to get to that here in just a second. Now, like I said, over five billion produced. So what in the world could make these coins valuable? Well, first up, before I get into the error that you should be looking for, this is a 1989 penny that is extremely valuable. And what's gonna make this coin valuable here is that it's got a very high grade. So the coin grading scale goes up to 70. This is graded at a mint state 68, as you can see there on the coin slab by PCGS. So these are extremely hard to find. When you find a 1989 penny in your pocket change, it's most likely been circulated, it's scratched up, it's not gonna have a very good grade. So I wouldn't waste your time on trying to send it in. This is an extremely high graded penny here, and that's why the coin is valuable. This penny sold for over $4,100. Now next up, because everyone always has questions about the 1982 penny, so if you guys do, this is a good video to stick around and watch the rest of it, because this is important here. So pre-1983, 
Those pennies were made of copper and they weighed 3.11 grams. Now keep in mind, in 1982, they did make copper pennies and zinc pennies. I have a whole entire video on that. I will put it at the end of this video, so make sure you guys go check that out. Now, from 1983 to present time, you have the zinc pennies that weigh 2.5 grams. Now again, if you guys want to get a coin scale, you can get them right now on couchcollectibles.com. Link is down in the description. We also have a $5 off coupon all month. Just use the code 5 off when purchasing two items. All right, so you got the copper weight, 3.11 grams, and then the zinc weight, 2.5 grams. That's very important. You need to know this. So 1989, that is supposed to be a zinc penny that weighs 2.5 grams. Now, if you come across 1989 pennies, the only way to tell is to actually weigh these coins, right? So if we look here at the coin slab, you can see that PCGS has graded this at a mint state 65. So it does have a high grade, which is also going to give it value. And you can see that it says that it's been struck on a 3.1 gram copper planchet, a pre-1983 cent planchet, one cent planchet. So that means that this penny was supposed to be 2.5 gram zinc penny. However, it was struck on one of the old planchets that was used for the pennies prior to 1983. So that is an extremely rare error to look for, but it's simple error to look for. All you guys gotta do is put your 1989 Ds, 1989 pennies on a scale, bam, bam, bam. If it weighs 3.1 grams, then you might have something on your hands. Now, this penny here, because of that error and because of its high grade, sold for over $7,500. Now, keep in mind, if you guys do find one that actually weighs 3.1 grams and it's all beat up and, you know, scratched up, it's probably not going to sell for $7,000, but it's still going to sell because that is an extremely valuable error that you should always be on the lookout for on the 1989 Lincoln Penny. I'll show you guys some images of different types of doubling that takes place on the 1995 Penny. This is what you want to look for, doubling on all the lettering on the coin. Here's another example of that, and we're just going to go through a couple examples there. You can see the Liberty is doubled as well, and we'll look at what some of these have actually sold for. Now, the price on these pennies are going to vary based on the condition of the coin and, of course, when the coin is actually sold. This first one here is a 1995 double die penny. Now it's graded at a mint state 69, so it's a very, very high graded coin. Now this double die penny here sold for over $1,100. Now here is another penny that's also graded at a mint state 69, so very, very high grade here. Now this one here sold for over $5,000. $5,000 for this 1995 penny. Now here's an example of one that's graded at a men's state 68. It's sold for over $315. And then here's one that's sold for over $490, also graded at a men's state 68. Now let's put this underneath the scope and see what these double dies actually look like in person. So we're actually gonna search through all the 1995 pennies that I found in a box. Here is a double die. Someone sent me this. This is awesome. So you guys can see that doubling on IN and then GOD and trust as well, especially on that T there. Now, if we look down here at Liberty, you can see that it is doubled as well. You look at the L and the B, that's really noticeable, the E and the R. Really, you can see doubling on all the letters, but it's really noticeable there on the L and the B and the E. So that is awesome. Thank you to whoever sent this. I forgot who sent it. It's been such a long time. All right, so this is a very, very well-known coin to look for. What you want to look for on the 1992 penny is the close AM. So you can do that with a USB coin microscope, which is what we're going to do here in just one second. Now the top image there is a wide AM. You see how the A and the M are not touching? If you look there at the bottom, you can see that the A and the M are nearly touching and that is a close AM. So definitely a huge difference. You can see that there in the image displayed. Here is an example of a 1992 close AM, Denver minted 1992 close AM that is extremely, extremely valuable. 
Now this is not graded at a mint stated grade or anything like this. I would almost guarantee this thing was found in pocket change, this penny here. So this penny here sold for over $5,600. This is by far one of my favorite coins to look for. So simple, all you guys gotta do, put it underneath the microscope and search for these 1992 close AMs. $5,000 for that coin there. Now if you find one of these and it's in terrible condition, all scratched up and beat up, it's gonna sell for less. And if you find one in better condition, it could sell for a little more. Oh yeah, here's just a random 1992 penny. We want to throw this in here. This is a 1992 penny that's been double struck and broad struck and it sold for over $190. Thought that was interesting. Here's the stock image of the 1977 Lincoln Penny. Now this is the one with no mint mark. That means that it was produced in Philadelphia. Now you can see that they produced, they made over 4.4 billion of these coins. So if they made so many of them, how in the world could any of them be valuable? And that's what we're gonna talk about. This next image here is just the same stock image, however, this is the mintage for the San Francisco minted Lincoln Penny from 1977. Now you can see that they made far, far less of these coins. So the 1977S is the proof penny. They only made 3.2 million of those coins. So if you come across the proof penny, that's what you really want to hold on to. However, we're going to look at another one that is very, very valuable as well. All right, so first up here is a 1977 penny, just a regular penny. You know, it does have a very high grade. That's what's gonna make the coin valuable. Now, if you guys have a 1977 penny that's all beat up, it's scratched up, and you know, it's been circulated for years, it's probably only worth its face value of one cent. However, this coin, because of its extremely high grade, sold for over $745. Now, if you guys are not familiar with coin grading, I have a whole video on my channel explaining that. So be sure to go type in Couch Collectibles Coin Grading on YouTube and you guys will be able to find those videos. Next up is a 1977S. Now this is an incredible, incredible coin. And there's a few things that give this coin value. One, it's the 1977S San Francisco Mint. That means they only produced a little over 3.2 million of these coins, like I said earlier. Also, this proof penny is graded at a proof 70 red. So that is the highest grade on the coin grading scale that you can get, a 70. The coin grading scale goes from one to 70, 70 at the best, and it's a deep cameo. I'm gonna do a whole video on deep cameo proofs and all that stuff, so stay tuned for that. Now, because of all those reasons, this penny here sold for over $7,000, $7,000. So if you guys do have a 1977S proof penny and you guys got questions about it, just leave it in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer those. Moving on to a 1977D, this is the Denver Minted Lincoln Penny. Now this penny here, again, is valuable because of its high grade. These coins don't have any types of errors that make them valuable or anything like that. It's just the fact that they are very high graded coins. Now this coin here sold for over $7,000 as well. So. Like I said, if you guys have a beat up 1977 penny, it's not gonna bring this type of value. All right, so how in the world can the 2009 penny be valuable? You know, well here's all the mintages of it. If you guys wanna screenshot this, they made over 284 million of the 2009 P Lincoln cent birthplace. And then that goes down the list for the different reverses of the Lincoln cent from 2009, as well as the different mint marks. Now, a lot of people do keep these because they only minted, you know, 100 million to 350 million uh, piece of these coins in comparison to billions of pennies from other years. So some people do keep them, but uh, I only keep ones that are pretty much in really good condition. And of course, I like to search for errors. So this is what we're gonna be doing today. Here are some examples of errors taking place on the 2009 Lincoln cent. Now, it's gonna take place with Lincoln sitting down there on the log on the back of the penny. So here's all the examples we're gonna scroll through if you guys wanna pause it to see the example for a longer period of time. 
feel free to do so or screenshot it. Now, it's going to take place right by Lincoln's thumb and on the outside of his hand as well. So you will look for that doubling underneath the microscope. This one here is the finger on the other side, not by the thumb. So you also have to look for that area there as well. And so let's look for these 2009 pennies under the scope. All right, so here we are. First penny up searching for the 2009 double die reverse. And we don't have too many of these, but we do have a stack, little stack here of Lincoln pennies. Don't see any doubling. Like I said, we're looking for doubling on those fingers there and the thumb. Hopefully we can find one. That would be amazing if we actually found one on video. And uh, don't forget guys, if you guys want to see your coins up close like this and you want a USB coin microscope, all you guys gotta do is go to couchcollectibles.com. I do have them available for sale. Now, if you guys purchase a USB coin microscope, one, you get the microscope, and two, you are entered for the monthly giveaway. And if you purchase two or more items, you get two entries. And if you purchase two or more items, you also get $5 off all September. So if you got, so September is coming to an end. We got, use the code five off at checkout if you guys do purchase two or more items. And uh, yeah, man, these things are really simple. I do have a whole video on the USB coin microscope. So if you haven't seen that, just type in USB coin microscope on YouTube and you should see my video on there. You should be able to find it. it should be at the top somewhere. Or just go through my channel. You can find it on my channel as well. And uh, be sure to go check out my collectible videos that I've been posting. I got a lot more to post here in the next couple weeks. Coins and collectible videos. But uh, some of the collectible videos are pretty cool. They, uh, they're one of my favorites to film. So I love filming those collectible videos. All right, we got two more pennies to go after this. All right, no doubling there. And one more, here we go. No double die, unfortunately. All right guys, until tomorrow, I will see you on the comment section below. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until then, I will see you on the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.